Hey everybody, it's Joy Packard. This is our second interview on a Saturday here in Houston. Uh, super excited to bring to you guys another one of our amazing speakers who will be speaking, taking the stage next week here in Houston at the Simples on Seller event. Uh, this guy is amazing. You will be amazed. I, I went to Jamaica, was it uh, back in February, was it, uh, with Barrington McIntosh, who is also coming to speak. And uh, I met a JR, he was one of the speakers there and uh, he basically floored me. He was he was uh, completely amazing and has some amazing techniques that he shared. And I'm super happy to um, have him speak at our conference and bring him today on this very short interview. So I want you to introduce yourself to everybody. Some people know you, some people don't. So love to hear more about what you do and you know maybe a little bit of your journey. Sure. All right. Yeah, I'm J.R. Cagle. Some of you guys may know me, some may not. Uh, he used to coach under Jim Cockrum. Uh, I've got kind of that background just going from uh, the My Silent Team stuff, and I work with Barrington and Lance now. I uh, used to be a full-time high school teacher, and I wanted to get out of that, so thank goodness I finally did. I worked on trying to make something go work on the side, uh, Amazon in this case. And I did it part time for a little while, and eventually I was able to take it full time. And I've been selling full time on Amazon now for six years. Wow! So I did almost a million last year. Going to hit a million this year. I'm going to be really angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, constantly learning. I uh, specialize in retail arbitrage. I do some online arbitrage, some wholesale, so a variety of stuff. Um, I've got a group over there through the WhatsApp groups with Barrington and Lance. And we really focus on certain stores, but trying to get a really good price is my biggest focus. We want to really hit that buy low concept because that's where you're going to make your money is when you buy low. I mean, that's true whether you're doing retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, whatever. If you can buy right, it's not hard to make a profit, but a lot of people can't buy right. And I help teach how to really get the best price, sometimes even below wholesale. And if you can do that, you can succeed on Amazon. Um, I have some listing techniques also. So I really focus on bundles, especially. Um, back in the old days of Amazon, it was easy to do singles. You could scan a Toys R Us exclusive, Target exclusive, and <laughs> easily make money. But it's not that easy anymore. You got to get a little creative sometimes. So. Sure. Um, yeah, I focus on that and showing people how to do that, how to basically set yourself apart from the competition. So. That's amazing. And, uh, you know, you hear what he said and that, that's that's so beautiful because Simples on Seller is specifically that I always say, you know, it's like a buffet of ways that you can sell on Amazon and beyond. And, and JR is a great, great example of that because like he said, you know, I started this about five years ago and, and when I started, it was super easy you know it's easy to just go to like target or walmart and everything and just you know uh for those who are watching that are new uh you basically you know there are there are apps that you can get on your phone that basically says hey you can scan the upc code it's retail arbitrage where you can find an item say at walmart for three bucks and i the uh, app will tell you hey you know it sells on amazon for this much and then you basically can you know see what your profit is and you know before you know we would and, and you know, so you could still do that. It's just a little bit harder. And so in Jamaica, when I met JR, you know, he showed a very a special technique that's specifically for that group. We don't talk about it because he has his secret sauce and, you know, we, we share some things, but there's some things that are like, but it, it really did wow me. I was like, wow, you know, to uh, hear that was, was really amazing with that very small group of people. So when JR um, was talking about, you know, his retail online wholesale, I think that's so cool. Um, and, and I'm going to put his group up that he talked about. This is his WhatsApp group, knock the price down. And, um, I'm not sure. Do you have like a limit? To, can you, are, do you have a limit of how many people could be in the group or no, no limit? Um, I don't know. No set number. We can certainly take more people. Okay. Awesome. Well, um, we, um, I'm in that group and, uh, see what he can do. And he, um, you know, this is another example of the kind of people that we have at the event. And that is people that just share with their heart. I mean, you know, JR is like, <laughs> I mean, when I was in Jamaica, I was like so tired. We would, we were at the show and it's already like 10, 30, 11. And there's JR over there, you know, chatting with some people, just helping them with their business. And this is what we were talking about earlier today when I was on interview with Tammy. And that is, you know, it's like people ha that, that are speakers and the attendees that come because of the speakers. It's, it's amazing to be around the networking of that. But like JR is like literally like, you know, he was there to speak and he could have just gone on the beach and did his thing. And, you know, but he, 
he was always like, what can I do to help? How can I explain this? I mean, he sat there, got his computer out, you know, showed us some stuff, got people to, you know, explain what he was doing. And it really impressed me to the point where I'm like, JR, you need to be at our conference. <laughs> and he didn't know it was water water <laughs> Yeah. And so uh, share with us maybe like kind of a, a little bit of your day of like, what, what do you do as far as, you know, I know you get up and you know do all your stuff, but like as far as your your Amazon business, kind of give us a little idea of you know your schedule of what you could do. Sure, I usually do my shopping in the morning. Um, I really put a focus on staying on top of the sales that are going on. I like to say, let the stores tell you what to buy. So on Sundays, I want to know what um, basically what sales are going on at what stores. I'm checking the ads. I'm actually usually checking them Friday because you can get sneak peek on the ads. Um, I check Cartwheel for Target every morning because there's some great deals on there. Target is actually my biggest source. And really, a lot of people don't source Target. Um, a lot of people like to go to Walmart. I honestly hardly ever source at Walmart. Target is fantastic if you learn how to stack stuff with promos, coupons, etc. So that's what I'm always looking for. I'm looking for the different promos, whether it's, um, like I said, the Cartwheel coupons, a 20% Big Lots coupon, a 30% Kohl's coupon. Basically things you can stack together and get that price really low. Like I said, sometimes below wholesale. That's not necessarily uncommon. And if you can do that in a retail store, that's fantastic. For um, sure. You can get the credit card points. You can stack it with gift cards. So um, I'm really looking to do those stacks. But um, basically every morning I, I want to know what sales are going on, what opportunities to buy low are out there. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking to just hit those different opportunities, usually every week, because the sale usually goes for roughly one week. And um, me or my shoppers and I will hit some, we'll go buy some stuff and we'll kind of reconvene at the office. We'll I'll pop it in inventory lab, they'll prep it, they'll bundle it up, we'll pack it up and ship it out. So I've got a staff that helps and uh, I really recommend you hire help to do polybagging and such like that. Um, if you, if you haven't already, because that's not fun to do. So if you can get other people to do it and free up your time, it's well worth it. And if you're outsourcing, you can easily pay for that. So it's, um, it's well worth it. That that's, that's amazing. And, uh, I think that you hit it right on the money as far as like doing, you know, outsourcing. And we talked about this at the conference too, about outsourcing your packing and shipping, because once I did that, that was the very, yep. one of the first things I did. And when you do that, when you do that, it's like, you know, before I was, you know, sourcing, say like two days a week and prepping for three yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And <laughs> Think about if you, you know, when you say outsourcing, outsource your prepping, then you can continue to do sourcing. And that's, you know, what whatever you do best, you do, you know. Yeah. And so um, I think that's wonderful how you still do this method because there's a lot of people that are like, you know, retail is dead. You know, you can't do this anymore. But when you do it the way that JR does, you know, and do the extra things that he'll be, uh, you know, sharing some with with us at this conference. You know, he's going to be um, after the opening remarks. He's going to be our first speaker, and so you know, he has he brings a lot of energy into the room. He brings a lot of knowledge, a lot of expertise as to what he does, and we're super happy to have him there. And so I know that you know there are some people like what he was talking about, like with stacking. Um, when you how do you, is this by trial and error that you find ways? I know, I know I, I'll talk about some ways too, but um, what are some ways that you've learned or is it just, you know, getting out there and doing it and realizing, oh, there's a cartwheel app. Oh, there's, you know, this or that. Yeah, it's, it's both. Um, I've learned from some people, obviously, some of it has been trial and error. Like for instance, with Walgreens, I found out by accident that their coupon book they have monthly, um, say it's, a dollar off two items. That's you can use that infinitely many times in one transaction. In other words, if you buy 10 items, it would apply that coupon five times. I didn't realize that. I found that out by accident. But other <laughs> stuff, I've just um, I've worked, uh, just kind of worked and experimented and played with it. Said like, okay, um, what if I try to stack this cartwheel with a cartwheel being the Target app, the coupons it is. What if I stack this cartwheel with this promotion? How will that work? Do I have to make sure the total after cartwheel is, say, $100? Or can I do $100? Say, for instance, say they're running a 25 of 100 promo. Can I do $100, knock it down with cartwheel, and still get that $25 off? I'm, you know, I'm playing with the numbers. I'm a former math teacher. That's where my degree is now. 
Um, I'm very good with numbers, but the good news is you don't have to be in this business. If you can do basic math, you know, fifth, sixth grade math, that's all you really need. You don't have to be fancy. But um, it's, yeah, it's, I'll, I'll play with some numbers. Sometimes I'll do a few test buys to make sure a promo works. Um, sometimes uh, I'll test a coupon to see if it will work more than once, even if it says it won't. So mm -hmm. maybe I'll go in and just do a test buy on the second on another buy. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, you know, I'm out a small amount of money. No big deal. But then I can always relay that information back to the group, too, and save them the trial and error. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of it has been trial and error. Some stuff I've found out by accident just because <laughs> you do enough shopping, you start finding things out. You hear from employees, you hear from other sellers. And it's like, oh. So um, I'm always picking up nuggets. I'm always looking to pick up some good nuggets. I uh, picked up some really good info on big lots uh, when I was in Jamaica from another one of the sellers. So um, in fact, uh, the one that just popped up on the screen is actually who I'm talking about. <laughs> Janie, <laughs> like Janie. Yep, Dale there, he uh, shared some really good big lots info with me on a coupon situation I was not aware of. So yeah, um, it's a combination of things, just hearing from other people, trial and error, um, hearing from employees of stores, just uh, a whole variety of ways. You get out there, you do it, and you just kind of learn from experience. I love that. And uh, exactly one thing that you said that kind of stuck out to me too was like, you know, we met these people at the conference, I gave you a little tip on big lots, you know, they learned from you and, and so on. It might be one small nugget that turns out to be yep. a huge thing for your business. And it's Absolutely. interesting how you talk about big lots because one of my private label products actually came from an idea from big lots. And hmm. this is when I first started, I found this product and you know, I was just testing out products like people do and I bought it and I, I mean, I was like, wow, there's like three sellers on here. Of course now today that product is saturated, but back then when this is my first you know, really epiphany of the private label thing. You know, I did exactly what people said, you know, you buy this, you look at the back, you do this, whatever. And uh, it really completely amazed me. All, I mean, it was like a replenishable item, you know, it was like, I just bought it and I actually, you know, called the manufacturer, got to know the owner and it worked something out to where it went straight from him to Amazon. It was amazing. It was an amazing product for about six months <laughs> and then people caught on. But I'm just saying that, you know, people like think of big lots and they think, oh, you, what are you going to find in big lots? You know, but, you know, big lots has that 20 percent, you know, family coupon that you can get if you sign up mm -hmm. for the rewards or whatever. But there you know what what jr is also saying when i think about when he's saying stacking if you think about every dollar that you save it's like that much more money that you're making right yep, and so um, i know like online you know there's things like you can get on ebates.com then go to the site and yep. you're stacking and then you can use your credit cards which you know i wish that i got um there's a friend of mine who actually uses credit cards and he's such an art. It's an art that he does that he uses it to, you know, buy his inventory and then he uses his points to travel around the world. Mm -hmm. He's on, if I think he's on a trip right now. So there's so many ways to, you know, not just find good products, but to use what JR is talking about by coupling it with, 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 you know, stacking. And so that's, that's so cool. That method that you're talking about. Yeah. And so with the, um, WhatsApp group, you don't have a Facebook group, right? It's just all in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. I might get a Facebook group going eventually as some of you guys who are listening may already know I hate Facebook. So <laughs> I'm run it. I know, but, but I got them on to get on here. <laughs> I so, know. Yeah. Facebook it has, you know, has, has its, you know, pros and cons. I get that. So, um, that's great. Well, you know, we have, of course, guys, our simples on seller, event coming up. It's coming up literally next Thursday. We have six more days, five more days. And, you know, I know uh, many of you live within distance. <laughs> and I know that we we basically have taken off as many excuses as we can so you can be here. You know, we've got two hotels, I'm mean, sorry, two airports that are 30 minutes from the hotel. I share this on every interview lately because people are like, well, you know, um, what about airline tickets? Well, there's an app called Skip Lagged and I'll put it in the comments later. S-K-I-P. L A G G E D. Uh, sometimes you can get last minute airlines and hotels last minute. Um, I share the story of when I came back from Reno one time I flew up for a conference and I had to be back for my, one of my daughter's things early. So I looked on that app and I got lucky. It was $36 one way. And it's not always going to be that good, but one time I, you know, had to get somebody to Utah to help us with my mom's move and last minute, the ticket was one way, $97. So you never know, you know? And so if you look at the lineup of speakers, if you go to the link below us and 
And by the way, if you're replayers, you can, you know, hashtag replay, let us know you're replaying. And if you, if you basically, uh, I know JR has some kind of special, a bonus about his WhatsApp group. If you join from this link today and, you know, hashtag it on here and, or tell us that you did, or when you're at the event, when you come, let us know. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that, JR, what you can give them or, you know, if they decide to come. Um, I actually need to run that by Barrington and Lance also. First. Oh, you got to run that by. Okay, yeah. sure. And it could be as much as like spending, you know, 10 or 15 minutes with them at the conference just to kind of yeah. chat with them about their business. So yeah. I'll make know. myself available. I'll be around for the whole conference. That's great. Yeah, we have um, VIP sessions that you guys can look at as, uh, you know, on this particular link as well uh, with the speakers. But a lot of the speakers are going to be there and they're, you know, making themselves available for you guys. We also have uh, installed on installment plans now to where you don't even have to have it paid by the conference. You know, you 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 can break it up to where, you know, we make it easier for you. And so that's the incredible thing. We have a VIP dinner. I hear there's some dancing going to be going on that someone's putting together. Who knows on Saturday, on Friday night, it's going to be a fun time. You know, Houston is a fun city uh, that you can come and get to know it and the people that are coming. So um, we have a few more minutes, JR. Do you have anything that you want to share that, you know, anything else that you can think of? Um, just, um, I suppose I haven't prepared my presentation yet. I know what I'm going to talk about, but um, like I was asking joy, um, just, want to know what basically the audience is like. So uh, just kind of any comments there and where you're at in your business. Are you a beginner, intermediate, advanced? Um, I'm going to try to kind of hit all three categories for everybody because I want to make it useful for everybody. But um, I do would like to know if the majority are more beginners, I can tailor my presentation more so to that. If they're more advanced, I can try to tailor more to that. So um, just basically, um, trying to want to know what the audience would like in terms of, uh, I guess, not level of difficulty, but level of experience, we could say. Awesome. Okay. So, um, and if there are any suggestions there um, or any maybe even specific stores, um, I'm definitely going to talk about Target. Like I said, it's a gold mine. It's my favorite source. But I'm going to talk about other stores too and uh, show you guys basically how you can really have great experience with retail arbitrage. Um, it's kind of funny. Chris Green's actually going to be there still, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, he's yeah, bringing he's his son actually, this time too. Yeah. He's actually the guy I learned. I, it was his book about retail arbitrage that really turned it, turned the corner for me where I really learned about retail arbitrage and made a huge stride in this business. So uh, it's kind of funny. The not necessarily mentor, but the guy that I really started to learn from is going to be there. And uh, so Absolutely. I mean, uh, Chris has been a big influence in my life. And, you know, if you go and listen to the interview we did with him, he tells you he doesn't come and speak at very many conferences. And so I was pretty honored that, you know, he last year he was supposed to come and couldn't last minute, but he did make us a video for our recordings and, you know, the ones that bought them. And this year, not only is he coming, but he's bringing his his young son, who is uh, Amazon Merch for Kids. He's 11 years old. It's a, uh, you know, takes away all the excuses of why we can or cannot do something. And his lovely wife, they're gonna be doing kind of like a drive through Texas to go to some kind of family stuff. So it worked out, he made it work. And um, and I agree with you too, JR, that it's, it's, it's gonna be fun to see, you know, him uh, to be able to, you know, he's been such an influence in my life, your life, and many others. And so, you know, if you look at this link and you look at the caliber of the speakers that we are bringing, you know, we have six and seven figure income earners that will be presenting from stage from their heart to share with you. Uh, it's an opportunity to get them all in one place. And so uh, anyway, we, JR, we, we know it's, it's Saturday. We thank you for your time. Uh, you live viewers, we thank you for being with us and the replayers as well. Uh, we hope you join us. If I'm going to throw this in here, one more, one last thing. Um, if you decide to join under JR's link here too, as well, um, we have uh, two promo, highly promo, highly discounted promo codes. We're not going to post them, um, you know, publicly because we give them, we are giving them as we are interviewing the speakers, but we have two tickets and we also have um, specials. Like if you want to come as a couple, and lastly, if you decide to come under JR's link for today's interview, uh, we will let you come uh, to the VIP, VIP dinner. It, you buy the basic package and we will let you come to the VIP dinner on me. So that's the special, the bonus for today for the interview. Again, thanks everybody for joining. We hope to see you in Houston. Thanks, JR. Thank Bye, you. Everybody. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.